You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. Welcome to Living Nightmares After Hours. Ah, man, with me in studios, bright and early, Brandon Madden. Brandon. The quickest turnaround in uh, LNL podcast history. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we could still call this after hours. I mean, I've been up all night. It's uh, six, you know, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so it's, yes. Oh man, but oh man, brother, I, I'm just glad we can get these shows uh, up. I, I know we were talking right before we hit record. We were uh, shout out to the RWL. We were unable to get an RWL show going again. Like I said, we we do these shows when time allows, and you know, obviously our schedules didn't allow us to get an RWL show. So, uh, you know, keep tuned in. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure we get a double show for the RWL uh, soon. But, ah, uh, body count, baby. Body yes. count. Lots, now, of, lots of big things happen at body count. Now, I mean, you guys didn't do this purposely because I, I, I know it never came up. But because of uh, similar, you know, ways of thinking... You guys all have pay per views every five <laughs> five cycle. Yeah, it's it's crazy how it works out with the Bronze Age. Uh, all three leagues seem to have a pay per view at the same cycle. Not but, not but planned it, at all. But it it, was, cool it wasn't. It was definitely not planned. Like I said, I never heard it discussed. I never heard it. But I. But it just like I said, the similar ways of thinking. It just it's a nice it's a nice number to have a pay per view on. Uh, you know every you know every five cycles. So. Uh, um, now, before we get into body count, uh, let's let's go over these champions because uh, the the action here is just amazing, bro. I, I like I said, and and kudos to all the managers that keep this league, uh, you know, where it is at the top of uh, of the IWA's uh, finest. Because. Wow, the, the the trash talk is just getting better and better, brother. I I the summer going into the, you know, into this quarantine and I I just I see good things coming in the fall, brother. I really do. Absolutely, we got we got a lot planned, you know. Obviously, so you know. Yeah, I mean, if, if we got have been in, if we got right. this much action in the spring, fuck. Yes. Ah. Oh. And that's just L and L action. Obviously, the clash of the Bronze Age. The first round of that started, and then hey, 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 hey slow down, slow down. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, man. yeah, it it is that kind of a place, brother. It really is. I mean, I'm I'm my eyes are like eager now. I'm like I'm looking at all these new feuds that are just coming, and yeah, I I, I got to bite my tongue on some of the on some of the stuff coming up because yeah, like I said, I don't want to spill the beans on anything but yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a fun uh a fun summer and uh gonna make for a tremendous fall yeah that's where that's where the lnl just you know shines the best brother i can't you know that october oh oh i I already see it yeah we definitely got big plans coming for that but the cool thing now is with body count uh, in the history books we're obviously we'll start building towards the next pay per view, but in between this pay per view and the next one, we got the WWL versus LNL pay per view, which now we're starting to see a little bit more, a uh, little more trash talk, a little. Yeah, I mean, uh, for for for, the, for getting moved along. For, for those managers that haven't kept up or that are listening to this and wondering, like, what is he saying? Uh, the no safe pay per view is official. Uh, the card is being worked on as we speak. So if you are interested in participating in that event, uh, you know, reach out to us. Uh, obviously, you know, it's you know it's a trash talk heavy uh, event, so we do want you guys participating, going back and forth with uh, uh, with the other managers that are exclusive to the Wicked Wars League. We're going to see how that works out, sending trash talk into both leagues to you know get that action. Uh, yeah, just peaking at the right time for that pay per view. Absolutely. Yeah, we're definitely excited about it. We're going to have a lot of matches at this show. And uh, like I said, some of the stuff you've already seen, you've seen some of our our stars show up in the WWL, or at least. Uh, oh, I, I mean, it went as soon as as soon as I saw Sadako lead the way, <laughs> I knew it, I knew it was safe. 
You know, because oh, yeah. once w- once we have a superstar like that just leading the way in, I'm like, you know, when she's sitting next to next to Mayhem, it it, it it we're all safe. You know, Pratt's heads on the floor. We're good. We're <laughs> so we had to make a yeah. dash for it. You know, we went to we went exploring. We went exploring. <laughs> oh man! I like but, it. But Brandon, let's get into this uh, spring 2020 uh, champions uh, here in the Living Nightmare League. Um, let's see here. We got a nightmare champion. Uh, the, the, these guys got a lot going on right now. I mean, we, we give so much credit to X, but, yes. uh, Z looks like, uh, he wanted some attention. He's our nightmare champion. Yep. Shout out all to patients. three of them are dangerous. Yeah. They're the, yeah, they all got their, their fair share of gold this cycle, but Z got the most. Yep. Uh, Paranormal Champion Warblaze. Yes. Nice. Uh, Amnelyville Champion. Oh, the World's Fate. Misasaki. Yes, the, uh, the, the lesser known of the Sayaki family, but I get the feeling over the next few uh, months we're going to learn a lot more about her. Uh, she, now she, she's the one with the uh, interesting friend that she talks to. Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, Crystal Lake champion, the Duchess Talon. Yes. Glad to, glad to see the Sith uh, uh, females uh, doing so well. And the Duchess Talon, we, we're going to talk about her a little bit later on as well. Oh, nice. Uh, Elm Street champion, still alive, Wolfman Joe. <laughs> uh, Black Lagoon champion, Clyde Holiday. Uh, Camp Arwak champion. Another one of our Sithist, 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 Sith, 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 Sith. Yes. Uh, You know what? In the world of the Sith, we are all equal. They're just Sith. Right. The Huntress, Vestara. Uh, Transylvania champion, the mnemonic queen, Kayako Yamamura. Yeah, she's been on a roll. Yeah, shout out to her. I, I think she's one of the only ones that I've seen uh, just manhandle. Uh, Sadaku. Right. And I coming mean, into this coming into this cycle, she was the reigning colossal champion as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. I mean when I when I saw them two square off in the ring and I saw her get the better of Sadaku, I was just kind of like whoa. Yeah. We're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough dealing with just Sadaku. Now we're now we right. got <laughs> All right. We got the Haunted Hill champion, Patient X, uh, Sleepy Hollow champion. Ah, uh, speaking of the Crimson Curse herself, Sadako Seiki. Yes. Uh, Salem's Lot Champion, Patient Y, the Crypt Champion, my favorite, one of the Skeksis, Mister Skexo. Is I think this a- is the. I think he's the the last remaining member of the Skexis. Well, he's the he's the one with the most uh, essence, and uh, seems like he has the most. Uh, you know, ability because I mean he's always on the he's always on the title. <laughs> he's always on the title. He's maybe, he, his... may, maybe he took out the rest of them and took all the rest of us. Maybe yeah. I don't know. Ah, well, he's whatever it is. He's using it to his advantage to get that gold. By the shout out to the Skeksis, uh, Apocalypse uh, Tag Team Champion and winners of five free matches, Jacob Goodnight and Wolfman Joe. Back to back yeah. to back to back three times. I think so. Yeah, and that's interesting because Jacob Goodnight is also part of the Terror Tag Champions with Rawhead Rex. So he's kind of like uh, like the Arn Anderson, Bobby Eaton kind of character where he can team with anybody and win tag titles. Shout out to Jacob Goodnight. You know, just bringing home gold. Yep. Uh, Doomsday uh, Tag Team Champions. Yes. Morbius. Yes. Bigfoot. Staying alive, baby. Staying <laughs> eating alive. Uh, Slaughterhouse uh, six man champions: the Huntress Vistara, Countess Jade, and the Duchess Talon. Uh, Nightmare TV six man champions: uh, Crimson what? Crimson Curse, Damian Hyde, and Warblaze. Yeah, that's a motley crew of a team right there. Huh. Well, shout out. Bring it home. Uh, Battle Royal winner, speaking of uh, Goodnight's uh, other tag team partner, Rawhead Rex. Yes, sir. 
Now, um, so if you want to jump right into the commissioner, te- or the commissioner champions, we can. Uh, I, I was, gonna, I was, gonna, I was going to ask you. I mean, do you want to just cover them as we do body count, or well, or are, or um, are there some that are not defend, were, were not defended on body count? We'll, we'll, we'll do pre body count. So well, actually, no, yeah, let's, let's do let's talk body count first, then we'll go, um, then we'll go over the commissioner champions. You got it. Um... So well, let's start with uh, the the Terror Vision show because it was a pay per view edition of Terror Vision. Nice. Um, so we had some uh, some definitely some quality matches on there. We got the, some newcomers on there as well. So, um, in the first match, Seymour Nadas, a newcomer, was taking on the Huntress Vestara, and the Sith continue their winning ways. Oh, nice. Now, uh, just to just to give a little uh, a little you know history, uh, it, uh, the manager uh, is probably, <laughs> if not one of the most arrogant uh, bastards uh, I know. <laughs> You're talking about probably, us, the Seymours. Uh, yeah, I mean, he he claims that he is probably the most arrogant uh, bastard here in the IWA, and uh, so he's coming to play. I so, like it. So just to see the Sith uh, get one over early on him is interesting because, yeah, he's he's definitely not going to shy away from the competition. I mean, obviously, uh, just for his information, I mean, you know, the Sith are exclusive to the Living Nightmare League. And, and that's one of the advantages we have, you know, here in the Living Nightmare League is that we do have uh, certain managers that are exclusive to this league as well. You know, shout out to the Wicked Wars, who also has a few managers that are exclusive to it. That's what's going to make this uh, upcoming pay-per-view uh, just just a home run hitter, brother. I mean, dang. Can't wait for it. Well, I've not had the, ple- the pleasure of having an in-depth conversation with uh, the arrogant bastard, but I'm, I'm totally down with that. His nickname. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, can't, I, I see great things coming for uh, for the AI here in the... In the living nightmare league, should should make it fun and exciting. Nice. Um, so also on television, Patient Z was victorious, defeating Damian Hyde. Yeah, I'm telling you, Patient Z was looking for that uh, spotlight this cycle, and you know he found it. Yeah, he did a great job. Um, the Siaki family, Misa, and uh, Papa Akuma defeated. Members of Die the Collector and Dr. Decker. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and that's that's one that, uh, you know, had a, there's a lot going on at this pay-per-view with, uh, with the yeah. Die crew. I mean, any yeah, time... They, they could be living on borrowed time. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to tell you. I mean, could you imagine having the, the fate of your life lie in the hands of uh, of someone like Sam, who's, you know, so tiny and small, and you're going right. to be like, you're going to put my life on that guy's? Like, oh, bro. Right. So, th- so they had a lot to think about this cycle, so, you know, having to go up against the likes of the Psy- uh, Psyche family was uh, probably a little too much for them to, to bear. Yes. Um, another tag team match to the Seymours, Guado and Flux took on the team of Bigfoot and squeaky uh and bigfoot and squeaky were victorious yes take that you arrogant bastard <laughs> yes the, the supersized squeaky yes it had to be it had, you know what <laughs> i mean it, it's kind of you could imagine uh, bigfoot standing next to squeaky you know bigfoot the size of a rat you know or seemingly the size of a rat compared to that enormous squeaky dude he tried to swallow yeah. Stephen urkel I saw that. Dude, how in the world? I mean, I know the dude <laughs> smells, but, you know, to try and, you know, eat him is just a whole nother. <laughs> oh. Well, the Terror Vision, t- or the, sorry, the Terror title, which is normally defended against the winner of the Battle Royal, was not defended this time because the Fox Woman, who is the Terror Champion, won the Battle Royal last cycle. So. She got the night off to concentrate on her body count match with Warblaze. So we did have one title match on the uh, television show, and it was Blade defending the Anarchy title against the Demonic Queen. 
and the demonic queen is the new anarchy champion. Yeah, I got love that girl. Love her. I'm telling you. <laughs> I guess, like you know what? As long as we can keep her attacking Sadako, I think I think we got a chance to live. That you know, that's coming from uh the wonderful Bigfoot. He's like, you know, we got a chance. We got a chance to survive. She's all right. Gonna kill us so, all. all right. So now at this point in time of the show, the demonic queen is the colossal champion and the anarchy champion. Oh, nice. So we'll see if she makes it out. I, I was about to say, did the, did, did the belt get a little heavy? <laughs> belt get a little heavy. <sighs> so yeah, so that's it for the television show. So now we jump to the the main card, and uh, so starting off with body count, Bigfoot versus Sam. If Bigfoot loses, he gets tweezed. Which I mean, that could take months oh, to do all just... that. The pain. <laughs> and if Bigfoot wins, though, he has the option to pick one of the die members to get executed by Sam. Oh, no. Why does everybody want to kill people? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so to make it interesting, Bigfoot was victorious. And now yes. the, the life of one of the die members is in the hands of Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. See, and, and, and this is where I got to bite my tongue because I could go start blabbing, but I got, you know, you got to wait and see what's going to happen. So I'm curious <laughs> to see, curious to see the, 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 the decision Bigfoot makes, man. I really do. Yes, definitely. Definitely looking forward to see. Who would, you, who, tries... who, would you, who would you take out? You know, the, the stinky, <sighs> the stinky collector, the, 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 the dumb. Uh... I would take out the doctor. We, we, we got a lot of doctors here. You know what I mean? Oh, just eliminate. Yeah, they're all nuts. I, you know what I'm saying? That sounds like a plan. We'll, we'll maybe we'll pass that along to Bigfoot. We'll see what happens. But but hey, just, you know, like I said, don't. Oh, ah, yeah. good times. Good times here in the in the Living Nightmare League. <laughs> Next up was the Thunderdome match between Wolfman Joe, Morbius, and Blade. You know, we hyped up Blade. Talking about how he's been on a roll, and he definitely has been. But that role did not continue as Wolfman Joe defeated the friendly vampire Morbius and Blade in the Thunderdome match. You know what? That that was my goal. As long as I could keep Blade away from him and keep <laughs> Joe alive, I keep. I, I've said it from the beginning. Our goal right. is to keep Joe alive. I don't care. I, I'm a I'm a vampire. I'll live. And I, we just gotta make sure that they don't kill Joe. Right. So. <laughs> Next up was the next match in the RoboCat versus Johnny Five series. Oh, nice! And Johnny Five was victorious. Oh, but uh, oh <laughs> man, he has all the controls. How can you even put him against RoboCat? Still, right? Oh. <laughs> so we'll we'll see where that feud uh, where that turn. I don't know if it's a few, right? Because he's supposedly just helping him out, it's a right? Test. It's a test. It's a test. We, we, yeah. we, we've determined it's a test, but it's some psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know what? If if RoboCat wouldn't have gone, you know, into the Wicked Wars League and wasted his rocket, you know, <laughs> wasted his rocket over right. there, he may have had a chance. But we'll get more into that in the trash talk. <laughs> get more. Nice. <sighs> Um, next up in the Pit of Fire match. Oh, yes. Did she burn? War... She definitely burned. Oh, I told War her. Warblaze defeated the Fox Woman. You know, all it was going to take is one little amber to, like, fall into the pit and, you know, fall on her and just start her up. And, oh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the the replay of that match because. Yes. So Man. that makes them one and one against each other so far. Ooh, nice! That becomes a so, you know that that becomes a feud. That becomes a yeah. feud. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes from here. But that, yeah, that's that's one one to one. Um, next up, another. Yeah, these guys have been uh, well. These monsters have been feuding for the last you know few months. Sadako Sieki, the Bronze Conqueror, 
and Dr. Frankenstein. Ooh. Frankenstein has been, uh, he's kind of been, you know, taking the lead in the series. You know, he got a couple wins. He ended up uh, stealing some of the blood. But, uh, you know, Balin, Balin is confident in Sadako. I think we've learned nothing else from the last, you know, six or seven podcasts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I... So, and Balin's uh, confidence pays off because Sadako defeats Dr. Frankenstein. Now, Do- Frankenstein is supposed to turn over all of his research and his, uh, you know, experiments to Balin now. And from what we what we heard on the Facebook page, uh, the doctor's running. <laughs> oh, nice! Yeah, he's trying nice. to. I, 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 I mean, we 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 were all hoping that day would finally come where where Sadaka would finally, you know, see that she was. I mean, because for a while, uh, it seemed like that was her only nightmare. Yeah, was not being able to get you know get over. Uh, on the on the evil doctor and you know the evil doctor kept you know pretty much get, getting an edge on her i mean from what we kept right. seeing so yeah. interesting yeah balan so balan had it seems like balan has uh even that uh, playing field there that's pretty cool you know what i'll i will say and uh speaking outside of outside of balan for a moment he's got to watch because uh He's he's pushing Sadako. Like if you think about it, this cycle alone, she defended the Bronze Conqueror against Bagul. She fought Frank on the pay per view, right? Uh, she's been leading the you know the war with the WWL, and uh, you know just got got to be careful not to not to burn her out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or yeah. Or or, or or even or, or even or even more so. Got to be careful not to give her too much, uh, too much. Uh, what do you call it? Too much rain, and uh, next thing you know, you lose your whole, you lose your whole territory. Right. Like what happened? Yeah. Oh, no, she just took over. She just right. Took over. <laughs> and she's also looking for the the traitor too. So oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so Sadako was victorious. Next, um, next, next, next thing you know, we're going to be on here. You're going to be like, and welcome to Sadako Seiki Land. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she took over. When I, yeah. And uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Sadako, uh, I, I, you know, like I said, I called it. It was going to be a year long title reign for the Bronze Conqueror. And we'll, we'll talk more about that in a little bit, see if my prediction is still uh, on. On pace to come true, oh. but until then, we still have two the two the double main event of the pay per view. So the first one is for the underworld title. Nice, the champion, the sinister Bagul, taking on Catfish Rob, the legend, and Aiden, the heartless Brimstone, and we have a new underworld champion. Oh, nice, the legend. Yeah, no. Oh, Aiden, the heartless brimstone. Oh no. Yes. Oh, you know what? I, I'll tell you this. I mean, shout out to to Aiden Brimstone for for his uh, victory. But it seems every time the legend has a shot, there's just it, it's just stacked against him. I mean, and any time you got Sadaku already, which is a tough, you know, tough cookie to to get over on. And, and I'll, you know, again, a one on one match. Yeah. And then you throw in Brimstone. And yeah, I think that was too much for the legend and uh, even too much for Sadaku because. Bagul. <sighs> oh, Bagul, excuse me. Yeah. Well, you know, and, you know, Bagul too. Like, I know we'll probably do a trash talk portion on another day, but he had a really, really good trash talk this cycle. And he kind of was calling out Sadako and, you know, coming after that bronze conqueror. So. Bagul, you, you know he's he's down this this time, but I I don't expect him to be down for long. Oh, I hope. I mean, ba- Bagul is uh, you know he's one of the legends around here, just right there with Catfish Rob and. Uh, yep. Oh man, yeah. I hope I hope he comes back strong. Yeah, oh, I'm sure he will. Well, and then the head in the box match. 
Dun, dun, dun. 12. Yes, 12 stars in this match. We got Squeaky, Queen Melody, Otis Cruiser, Pravis, Skexo, Patient Y, the Bronze Conqueror, Sadako Sieke. So there's another match she's in right there. Two matches on the pay per view. Uh, Blade, the Swamp Monster, Ted Radford, Foxman Rob, and the Duchess Talon. And the Head in the Box winner and crowning what I, what I think is going to be a new, a new superstar. Because now, over the course of the next year, this person can cash in the Head in the Box and get a four-point advantage against the champion, the Duchess Talon. Oh, nice. Oh, that, yeah, changed, said, that, that changes the entire script of the league, brother. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Well, and that's what I said earlier. I said we would talk about the Duchess again later on. And, Oof. yeah, at the end, she was standing tall. And I can tell you that it's going to be interesting when the write-ups will be in next cycle. And she will pull the head out of the box. And we'll, it'll all be revealed then who was the head in the box. Oh, yeah. I, I mean... That the the beauty of uh, I, I mean the beauty of angle based leagues is that you know we bring it all to life. I mean that I think that's you know that's why we all like to play and that's why we all you know enjoy these kinds of leagues. You know because we bring it all together. It's like it's not just a match. It's it's part of the you know what carries the league. So right that reveal I mean is definitely one of the I guess big highlights here. It's not a normal you know just regular briefcase <laughs> so uh keep tuned oh, yeah. in because yeah i yeah, i, I want to make that clear i i do want to make that clear that that reveal is is as yeah. big as the winner i mean because that's that's the beauty of these angle based uh leagues is that right well the first one like we've, we've talked about before like how genius of a write-up it was and you know how it was a major non you know it was like a non-playable character but it was like a major character in the league right Oh yes, so, I mean Bo- Boswell right. was. Uh, if you could imagine, I mean he was just the catalyst of that of that year. You know, he he just right. drove everything in the league. I remember hearing it from Rob and how, uh, you know the you know the then you know luchadores were feuding with him and then you know how they became you know the the dragons and oh man, it was just awesome to see it all just play out. You know, right. so that definitely puts the pressure on when trying to figure out how do you not even like not top that but how do you how do you live up to that is more like yes. it you know what i mean yeah continue the you... continue the legacy continue yes. the you know yeah because like, like you said it's not about not even necessarily about trying to top it it's just you oh, know yeah. keeping keeping the action you know interesting in that right. same fashion because that's what led some of us here you know right but yeah i think uh i think the choice is going to be uh it's gonna be shocking. I'm, I'll, we'll leave it at that. It's gonna be shocking. <laughs> like, it's like, like, like you said, Brandon. You, 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 you yeah. as well have to bite the tongue because, yeah, it's, yes. it's like, hey, the reveals yeah. are coming, the write-ups are coming. Uh, now, yep. uh, obviously, we had uh, the pay-per-view. Are you taking care of the write-ups? Are you accepting yes. any? I, okay. Yeah. So here's the deal. I, I've already kind of went through and done a lot of the write-ups, but if somebody wants to throw anything in there i will add it to it or if they have like a full match they want to throw in there i have no problem replacing it you know what i mean i i yeah no problem there um i'll take any anything anybody wants to submit definitely very cool so uh yeah that's gonna be good um so a couple quick real quick title uh so back to the commissioner titles right yes so we talked about the, the tag champions being rawhead rex and Jacob Goodnights. So this cycle, nobody beat them. I I was about to tell you that. I go I go, dude. I now here here's the 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 stupid part on my on my <laughs> part on my part is I, I had my little checklist mm-hmm. right, and I guess because obviously doing it at you know three o'clock in the morning, trying to get it in before eight o'clock Eastern. Thank you, Kim. Uh, <laughs> so. I'm I'm over here doing my stats and I look at the LNL champions and I see good night. And I completely uh, forget that Rex is the commissioner champions. Yes. So I didn't sign it. Yep. 
I didn't sign it. I'm like, oh, he's he's already the tag champions. I, I'm already fighting against the tag champions. I'm, I should be good. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Fucking idiot. Idiot. <laughs> idiot, I tell you. So, yep, shout, so, shout so out nobody to him for hiding, hiding well, you know. Right. Dang it. Well, and then speaking speaking about Rex, is he did win, like we talked earlier, he won the Battle Royal. So he will fight the Fox Woman next cycle at Terror Vision for that uh, Terror title. That'll be a fun one. So yeah. Raw, yeah. Rawhead looking to add some more gold, yeah. I don't, I don't know if he gets along with her. I don't know if he gets yeah. along. Interaction with uh, Goodnight and, and, the, and the Catfish Gang. Right. I wonder if they get along. Hmm. Maybe start some trouble with them. Absolutely. So we talked earlier about... Hold on one second. I just had a ton of kids roll down here. You got the you got the gang that came in. You got the uh, yeah. live live studio audience. Yeah. Live studio audience. Oh yeah, no, but uh, you know, in in the meantime, while well, Brandon settles the gang down, uh, you know, shout out to uh, all the wonderful you know pieces that have gone in back and forth already between the Wicked Wars and the Living Nightmare Leagues. Uh, Having a lot of fun uh, bringing that pay per view to uh, to light, and uh, yeah, really look forward to working with uh, the cast and crew that I know very well already. So you know, seeing this mashup and uh, giving uh, some of them a chance to go up against people like Catfish and uh, the Sith Lords, you know, someone like Sadaku, you know, always always healthy to to add some of that gameplay. Right. Absolutely. So, I know we were going over the <laughs> before I was chased out of the room here. Um, so, the demonic queen is the defeated blade for the anarchy title, right? We talked about that earlier. Yes. At the Terrorvision show. So, you know how we determine the anarchy champion is we have the bullseye, right? So, whoever beats the champion by the most points that cycle the, you know whatever champion the bullseye was on they get a shot the following cycle at the um, anarchy title so this cycle the, it was the black lagoon champion so claude holiday is the current black lagoon champion but claude also or you know he beat uh the Black Lagoon champion by three points. Misa Siaki, Siaki, also beat the Black Lagoon champion by three points. Uh oh. So I was thinking, huh, you know, I can do point flow. We could do this or that. I think we're just gonna we're gonna do a three way for the Anarchy title next cycle. Let's make it bigger. You know what I mean? Now, so now who, demo- who won? Who, who won the belt? Did was it? No, Claude. Claude won the belt. But Misa won a separate title. You know what I mean? Aha. Aha. Int- okay, okay. I, 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 I got to drift. Okay. So, yeah. So, I, well, we could have did point flow. We could have did the fact that Claude was the one with that title. I think we're just going to go bigger, and we're going to go a three-way for okay. the title next cycle. Nice. Okay, okay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to... Up the, up the ante a little bit. Just to up the ante. Yes, sir. Now, is it, now, is Claude going to be a little bit upset? Ah, uh, you know, Claude will get over it. Yeah, okay. I'll cool. set him on fire. <laughs> we'll set him on fire if he doesn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and and just to just to clear the air, Claude is you know uh, ran by. Mr. Uh, Goldstein. Mr. Goldstein, yeah. So I just. <laughs> yes, oh, he will not have a problem with it for those taking notes at home. So. Yeah, so just you know. And, and I guess that's just the freedoms that you know comes with, uh, you know, run, running the leagues. <laughs> running right. The league. Right. Uh, I mean, we wouldn't we wouldn't screw over a catfish or, or somebody like that if it came down to that kind of a. But unless it was the fox woman. Oh, okay. Okay. Just wanted to be. <laughs> oh, well, man. and like I said, they they both won by the same amount of points, and you know, 
Misa, you know, she she won a different title. So who's to say that she possibly couldn't have won, you know, that title? So that's why I figured yeah. it'd be fair. Throw them both in there and uh, make it even an even bigger match. Speaking of Misa, she defeated the Demonic Queen for the Colossal title. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the Demonic Queen who started, like I said, before the pay-per-view, we started off, she had the uh, Anarchy title, and she had the Colossal title. Well, yeah, you were right. The one title was a little too heavy, oh. and she dropped it, and Misa is the new Colossal champion. And now, of course, like we said, Misa's got a shot at the Anarchy next cycle. She could end up taking both belts home. So kind of kind of interesting. Yeah, whoever uh, – I was about to call it Momo, but it's not Momo. What what is that monster that she's uh, talking to? Um, I forget. I forget the name of that monster. But anywho, uh, whatever whatever the monster's telling him <laughs> is definitely she's uh, obviously listening. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Uh, let's see. What was it? The book of uh, Vo- volume. That was yes, it. that's what it was. That Vo- Volman, Volman, Volman. Yes. Which is a creepy yeah. looking dude. Well, it's working. It is working. Yeah. It is working. I see how that comes to play. Yeah. I'm scared. Um, I'm, then... scared I'm scared already. <laughs> scared already. <laughs> right. Um, and then we had the semifinals of our commissioner challenge. I know we forgot to talk about these last time, so I wanted to make sure we, we brought them on here. So the two matches to determine the finals, we had Sadako, like I said, she's busy, man. She's doing it all, versus Blade in the first match. And the second match, we had the Swamp Monster versus Patient X. Oh, uh, nice. like we Like we talked about, the winner of the tournament gets 25 free matches. And Patient X actually won the tournament last time. So he will have a shot at it again because he defeated the Swamp Monster to advance to the finals. Nice. Yes. But, of course, it's not going to be easy because the Bronze Conqueror defeated Blade. So Sadako advances, and we had a great match in the finals for that 25 free matches, Sadako versus Patient X. Now, uh, was it ever revealed which one of the patients actually took the blood from her? Was it X? Or or, or was it Frankenstein himself that... that... I think think it might have been him. I know they held her down. Hmm. Um, The patients helped out. Hmm. But I don't know. I wonder where the patients were for body count, though. <laughs> they were busy bringing home the rest of the gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, it's like, like we said, there's there's been some tension in that relationship. So now, um, no one is safe. Yes. Um. Some some trash talks are like I said. Uh, you know, shout out to you. Shout out to to Melvin uh, for you know for bringing this to to light and uh, and, and yourself for, and, as well. And, and and for and for leading the ways, man. Because both of you guys just like I said, it, it, you've opened fire and uh, have allowed everybody to open fire. Sadaku has gone through. Like you said, I've I've already made my way. Uh, I've seen uh, uh, the arrogant bastard over in the in the you know Wicked Wars League uh, already trash talk about it. So yeah, it, it it looks like it's gonna you know come you know make make some nice headlines. Uh, I'm uh, definitely interested in getting uh, the historic one over in the Wicked Wars uh, field up as well because I think that'll add to to some unique matchups with uh, with some of the managers that are in uh, exclusively either or league. You know. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I think we, you know, we kind of get it. We'll, me and me, Melvin, and yourself, we'll work to get, you know, kind of a an idea of who all is going to be on the show, and then we can, uh, you know, start working on like some matches and stuff. I know, obviously, we got a couple that we already, you know, got figured out, but 
we'll start uh, start hammering it out, and then maybe the three of us can get on here and we'll talk about it live on the air. We'll do it live. We'll do we'll it live. Do it live. Do it live. Oh man! Now, um, yeah. So a lot, a lot of fun coming. Uh, trash talk wise, Brandon. Uh, we want to, we want to save that one for for another day. We want to kind of knuckle through it still. And uh, yeah, so- well, you know, I'll be honest with you. Like I said, I kind of went through and did all the results. I have not had a chance to read all the trash talks yet, so I don't want to, you know, not give them their do attention you know what i mean because a lot of people you know everybody puts hard work into doing those so i want to want them to be recognized so yeah and, and we can also come back and uh, do like a trash talk slash uh we'll, we'll cover some of the cla- clash uh, clash results yes we actually, I actually <coughs> do have the clash results for the first the first round but uh we're gonna hold off on putting them out there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I, we, we gotta run it by the other uh the other two members of the Bronze Age Executive Committee before we uh, start. One, uh, one, one, one of which is probably still sleeping right now. The other one, which is probably work. And so when they see this post, they're going to be like, these maniacs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. man. The, the day after the bulletin drops. That's got to be some kind of record. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, Brandon. We'll, we'll sign this one off. Like I said, we'll, we'll definitely we, we got to make sure we make time to get that trash talk and the and the rest of the stuff because we got a lot to cover. So yes, yes. Thanks for everybody that supports the LNL, and thanks for you know just yes coming up with awesome characters so we can have awesome pay per views like Body Count and awesome pay per views like the upcoming No One Is Safe WWL versus LNL pay-per-view oh man yeah and like i said we got we got a lot more planned so stay stay tuned uh you guys have been listening to uh, the commissioner of the lnl brandon madden and myself iwa flip we'll see you guys next time see you guys